Okay, here. I'll let it run one time before I give you commentary because I got to pee. Bro, what the fuck going on, bro? Hell no. Bro, I just want my waffle, cuz. What, what they doing, bro? Come on, son. She did not just deflect. What the fuck, dude? That's a parry. That's a parry. That was fucking nuts, dude. She said, bro, she really said, let's watch that again. We gotta run it back. Okay, those are like, you know, those are metal chairs, dude. Okay, so I didn't watch the, I didn't watch this. I don't know what the details are, but it seems like this is a Waffle House, which is expected. Uh, don't know where the exact Waffle House uh, this is, but it could be any Waffle House. Let's be real. Seems like there's a commotion. Between the customers and the people working there. There's a man here, clearly in distress, who just wants his waffles, okay? And that's an understandable predicament. I mean, when you go to a waffle house, you want waffles, okay? You're, you're going in there expecting waffles. You're not expecting a side of ass whooping with the waffles. You want maybe, at most, syrup, okay? Things clearly get out of control very quickly. There's a quick cut here. Okay. She grabs the the coffee pot. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Uh, perhaps to use it as a weapon. Oh! She cracks him with it. What the fuck? That's wild. That's wild. Okay. They get pissed off, trying to effectively get over the counter, not working too well. So far, not looking too good for the customers here. White girl jumps up, both hands cocked. Okay, look, she did the Hancock thing. Took the hat off, did a quick maneuver. She's taunting him. Oh, oh no, doesn't even need to do nothing. Customer one is down with a flip. 
possibly headfirst diving directly into most likely one of the nastiest kitchen floors you've ever seen. I'm going to be honest with you. Absolutely hate to see it. You, I, I'm always going to be on the side of the workers, no matter what the situation is. So I, I am a little bit biased here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Rogan is biased, okay? I'm sorry. I'm letting you know. That's a self-knockout, but also well-deserved. Let's take a look at the... Oh! She goes in. Oh, those uppercuts. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She goes crazy. Absolutely insane. She's going in for the fucking kill. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fight. What a fight. That. That was in the pocket. She's got hands, ladies and gentlemen. She has a move set ready to fucking go. Holy fuck. We got to watch that again. We got to watch that again. Oh, oh, and you can see, okay, this is called teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, okay? It's out of control. You rarely ever see a group of nine to fivers in the service sector work so well in coordination while Blondie is dropping incredible punches, okay, on the downed customer. You have backup in the corner playing defense in the most aggressive way you can. Because sometimes the best offense is, or sometimes the best defense is, a calculated offensive strike. That's right. Blondie's going to work. You see another customer coming in. That's a tank character, obviously. As you can see, she clearly can take more damage. The tank character, unfortunately, very good at taking damage. Not very good at instilling damage. As you can see, very very weak moves okay she is unable to go over the barrier here the defensive maneuvers from one of the uh workers there is clearly easy enough to deflect away the tank characters overhand slap move okay zero dps here only one of those slap moves actually end up working that's most likely a taunt okay she's trying to get the dps to uh basically come over to her position I assume, in an effort to pull her other friend out. A lot of chaos here, a lot of commotion. That's another taunt. Uh, that's, uh, I would say, too early for a victory lap there. You, you hate to see it, folks. You hate to see it when, when your team is down for the count and you're still taunting like you won the war. You didn't even win the battle, okay? I'll just tell you that much. Clearly, clearly they are, clearly they were not ready for this raid. They are under spec, under level, do not have the equipment ready for this raid. You hate to see it. But of course, tank character is still trying to come in, but has very weak moves, as you can see. And as a matter of fact, there is no push on the tank character. Notice that people are not, notice that the defensive maneuvers are simply just uh, body checking one of the tank characters. They're not even really, they're not really even uh, running. Uh, they're not really even uh, getting caught in the, uh, in the aggro field here. Now, this is one of the worst things you can see, okay? That's a TK. Okay, that's Team Kill. Team Kill is unfortunately unlocked on uh, the Waffle House uh, raids, and you can see that. Uh, you can see that. Uh, wait, actually, never mind. Is that a? Oh no! Oh no! That's not a Team Kill. Never mind. I didn't even realize. No, that's the Rogue. That's the Rogue. He came out of nowhere. I didn't even notice. Oh my God. I thought the rogue was in there trying to cool everything down. Turns out he's actually expertly trying to grab the main DPS in a headlock, holding her by the hair as one of the other. Oh no, it's not the rogue. Never mind. I can't tell. What the fuck? Does he work there? 
y'all trading. No bullshit. So y'all don't got to deal with shit like that. <laughs> Yo. 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 Okay, there's a bit of the altercation is, is uh, the altercation here basically is, is uh, coming to an end is what you might think. Okay, it does seem like, is that third party? I don't know what's happening here. This is BM. Is he third party griefing? I can't tell if he has a, I, it does seem like he's third party. He's third partying this altercation, it seems. Uh, I don't like that. You don't like to see that. That is uh, uncalled for. Okay? Especially because he's using, as a rogue character, he's trying to break up the defensive maneuvers, okay, of the squad here, of the raid bosses, while simultaneously allowing the main DPS character to get her hair pulled, okay? A couple good shots, a couple good sneaky shots are delivered here, okay, by their main DPS character. Not good. What you have to do in that situation is respect the 1v1. And uh, I hate to see that that the 1v1 was not respected. That's probably a server ban, really. You deserve it. Now, of course, when you think, just when you thought the situation was done, turns out there's actually a mage involved. That's right. A mage is involved. Look at that ranged attack and an expert defense, an expert parry. Absolutely incredible parry. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that AOE did nothing. And I mean nothing. These mages are usually very good. Look at that. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. One more time. The mage basically used all of the mana, depleted all of her resources, decided to attack from above with everything she has, casting every spell she has. Look at these chairs flying directly at the defensive brigade, and then, and then the last one coming for the DPS, and guess what? That is an incredible deflection here. Deflecting harder than subscribers deflect the top of the hour ad break, ladies and gentlemen. My God, what a segue. Deflecting at the top of the hour is a must if you are subscribed for $5 or for free to the Hasanabi broadcast. Of course, if you are not subscribed for $5 or for free, you still can deflect the top of the hour ad breaks. Uh, if you want an uninterrupted broadcast experience, all you need to do is subscribe you can also get gifted a sub, ladies and gentlemen, like Tamana just gifted 10 gifted subs, Duo Max with the 5 gifted, Rabbit Snot with another 5 gifted. That's a critical hit. An absolute banger. Maya Bing Bang with the 5 gifted, not Jackie and Jacob Simpkins also with the 5 gifted, Glizzy Gobbler with another 5. Here's a 3 minute ad break coming to you now, folks. Sivioya with another 5 gifted. Sorting algorithms with the bro, tank gifted. No. Oh my god, bro. You, you wild it. Yo, chill. You oh, the mage is coming back with another one. The mage is coming back with another chair. And it misses. Oh god, you can tell that she is underwhelmed. I mean, she is overwhelmed. Sorry. Uh, the DPS hitting her with a taunt is actually a unique move, but it pays off incredibly well. You can see. The taunt was activated, and the mage was very clearly in a state of disarray because of the taunt, but due to her lack of mana and due to uh, how well the taunt worked, she missed by the widest of margins right here, folks. Welcome to the Waffle House, where you can catch these waffle hands. Those hands were not waffling, folks. Oh, my God. The way she unloaded into her was incredible, dude. I hate uh, fucking Twitter, dude. Why is Twitter so broken? Under no circumstance do you engage a white Waffle House employee in hand-to-hand -hand combat. You know how much a white person got to go through to work at a Waffle House? 
Y'all not hearing me. Look how she blocked the chair and kept eyes focused on her adversaries. She swiftly stopped the motion of the chair and discarded it unfazed. She's been here before. She really did. She really did. The only thing that can, the only effective group of individuals that could potentially take on a legendary raid like this and get all of the loot, uh, I would assume are Popeye's employees. Okay? I mean, look at that. Look at that parry. I've never seen parry like that before. I've never seen deflection stats like that. Okay? The entire time. The entire time. The only time when she was locked in was when she got third-partied by a fucking rogue who probably got a server ban after that moveset. It's incredible. This is why dex builds are so powerful, folks. You have to understand, you know, the momentum. I gotta run this again. It was so good. There's like a light, there's a fire that's lit there too while this is happening. Look at her coming in hot, dude. Dude, I love that. I can't get over that fucking move, man. It's so good. I've never seen anything like it, dude. I mean, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Someone said mantra. Yeah. Fuck, man. Yo, the technological achievements that have allowed us to be able to record these things is incredible. Like, she really thought she could come back with that chair. She really thought that she could come back with that chair, you know what I mean? From afar, and alt, and like, basically fucking basically unload her alt and nothing like oh god incredible i can't holy shit that's a perfect parry you love to see it there's really nothing else you can say about that what is this when you parry the horseman Yeah. Perfect parry. She already has fan art. I hate this. Why does Twitter always log me out every time, dude? I'm like fucking worried that it's going to... I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Uh, 
I don't know what it is. It's just so broken. Stop sending me Twitter links, please. Not that it matters, because desktop Twitter is broken. Yeah. The best video about working at Waffle House. All right, first thing first. Smoke cigarette? No, I don't smoke cigarette. Ah, so if you make it past the onboarding process, there will be a box in Newport short in your Waffle House onboarding pack. So we can be, get started on them. But if it ain't mandatory, you smoke cigarette. You know, if you pass your screen. Oh, y'all enjoy it? Hell no. Nah. Slap box. Dev! What the hell going on? Hey, Dev. This, uh, what's your name? Derek. Dev, and it Derek. Derek. Dev. So what I have y'all do is slap box for about 15 to 23 seconds. Let's see what your hand work looking like. They're going to uh -huh. determine what shift we're going to throw you on. <laughs> if you go zerk on Dev, we're going to throw you on the night shift. You will be in there by yourself, but you're going to be able to hold your own. But if Dev and Pap you out, like I assume Dev is going to Pap you out, because your man got hands. I don't know why he working here. He should be boxed. Uh -huh. so we're glad he's on our side. But if and when he Pap you out, we're going to put you on the day seal. You feel me? Yeah. You will need backup. You got any questions? Yeah, no. You ready, my boy? Do it. I'll go ahead. I pap you out. That's fucking awesome. Oh man. I love oh God. Waffle House is incredible. It's just so much better than IHOP because it's not just like you're getting the same food. But you also get, like, food with a side of entertainment. You know what I mean? Dinner and a show. We have none of that in Europe? Yeah, bro, it's boring. We know. Basically a modern medieval <laughs> times, pretty much. The medieval times of the South. 